for the coming Messiah. Don't come here for any other reason. If you are coming, don't be snakes. Don't be vipers. If you are coming, then just come without hypocrisy. And on Wednesday I was saying here, on Wednesday I was saying here, in our midweek service on Wednesday, I was saying this, that the Pharisees were known to be hypocritical. And I said, hypocrisy means acting. Acting. There are people who act. And you have seen them. And you there are people who act. You know them, right? They act. They act to you. Uh-uh. They act to you. They behave as though they are you. They behave like you. They dress like you. Ah. Ah. If they want to act the role, the character role of a doctor. If they want to act the role of a doctor, then they go dress as a doctor and put on things like doctors do. Even though they are quacks. Hello? They are not doctors, but they are acting. They are not teachers, but they are acting. They are not preachers, but they are acting. They act like so and so. And so when John sees them coming to him, and he says, snakes, blood of vipers, he is pointing to their hypocritical nature. He's pointing at their hypocritical nature. These people are running to John. But they are rejecting Jesus that the John is preaching. These people are coming to John. But they are rejecting the kingdom, the coming kingdom, the eternal kingdom of God that John the Baptist is preaching. I'm shocked that even today we are not short of these people. Just, just come and tell me what you are what you are telling. Come. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. And I'm saying, these people are following John. Hao watu wanamfuata Yohana. But the hearts are hypocritical. Lakini mioyo ina unafik. They are not preparing. They are not ready to prepare for the coming Messiah. Hao wako tayari kujianda kwa ajili ya Masiya anayekuja. But somehow, they want to be identified by the move of repentance and baptism of John. Wanataka kutambulishwa na ule mwondoko na waubatizo na toba kutoka kwa Yohana. Are you getting what I'm saying? Je, mnapata nalo sema? They just 
next one wanataka kutambulikana wanataka kutambulikana na sisi ni wajon wanataka wasikike tu waitwe tu waitanishwe tu lakini ukweli ni kwamba wanakuja lakini hawajiandai ha, lakini hawajiandai kwa sababu ya ufalme ambao Yohana anahubiri na hawajiandai kwa sababu ya masia Yesu anayekuja mfalme na ufalme huo Lakini kufuata Yohana wamekuja watu wamekuja na mimi nauliza sijui Nimesema hata sasa si ajabu kupata ya kwamba watu wapo wafuasi wapo lakini wanaojiandaa kumpokea mfalme na wanaojiandaa kupokea huo mfalme miongoni mwetu ni wachache sana taking it but i'm saying people they want to come and identify themselves with our church nasema watu wanataka kuja na wajitambulishe na kanisa na sijui kama nasema mambo ambayo ni nyeti na ni ya kumaanisha sana ambayo huenda inamaanisha sana kwako wako watu wanataka kujitambulisha na lakini ukweli ni kwamba ndani ya mioyo yao Hawajishughulishi kivyo vyote vile na ufalme wa Mungu unayekuja na mfalme masihi Yesu Kristu anayekuja. Hawajishughulishi? Hayo ni yenu. Hawajishughulishi? Kumaanisha hawajishughulishi na kubadilika. Ah. Hallelujah. They are not they are not concerned with the change of heart hawajihusishi ama usiki na kubadilishwa kwa moyo they are not concerned they are not interested in changing their behavior hawataki hata hawataki kujihusisha na kubadilisha tabia zao they are not interested in changing their lives hawataki hata kubadilisha maisha yao all they want is to be identified with the repentance and baptism message that John is preaching kile tu wanachotaka ni kutambulishwa na toba na ule ubatizo ambao Yohana anahubiri and so when you see them in the church like this here. They are not concerned. They don't want anything to do with the change of behavior. They want to be in the church here. But still remain corrupt. They want to be in the church here. But still remain thieves. They want to be in the church here. But still remain stable. They want to be in the church. But still they are arrogant. They want to be in the church. But they are still immoral. They want to be in the church. But still they are drunkards. They want to be in the church. But they are still thieves. They want to be in the church. But they are still abusive. They want to be in the church. But still they must in sin. But you cannot chase them out of the church. They want to be in the church. They want to be in the move of repentance. Because after all God has not been speaking to the church for 400 years. For many years. There has not been the prophet like that. For many years we have not seen the cripple walk ever since you were born we songa you had never seen you have only seen here So because because I have seen the cripples walk let me go there I want to go where the cripples are walking I want to go where the lame are walking I want to go where the blind eyes are open I want to go where HIV AIDS has been deleted From more than 100 people I want to go to that church but what brings you here if you are coming here <laughs> not to prepare for the coming messiah if you are coming here not to prepare for the glorious coming of the kingdom of god 
not to turn away from sin but just to be identified with the prophet and the message of repentance and holiness and the miracles that are happening there that I can assure you you are lost On Wednesday I was singing a song. I don't know whether this is what you were saying this day. Where, where was I singing? Was it in this main service? Ah, last week, last week. Sidio. Last week I was singing. Ni hasara kubwa. Hasara. 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 Kuka kwa Yesu. Miaka mingi kabisa. Lakini upote mi lele. I was singing to the women, right? I think I remember. I was, I was telling the women. Everybody join me here. Ni hasara kubwa, hasara, 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 hasara. Kuka kwa Yesu miaka mingi kabisa lakini upote milele Can you sing with me now? Ni hasara kubwa hasara 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 Kuka kwa Yesu miaka mingi kabisa lakini upote mi lele you are going to sing it with me even men i want you to sing it with your big voice like that ukijua ya kwamba kukaa kwa Yesu na ulevi na usharati na wizi na ujambazi na ufisadi ni hasara kubwa ukae hapa milele na uende jehanamu milele ni hasara kubwa hasara Hasara, hasara, hasara. Kuka kwa Yesu miaka mingi kabisa. Lakini upote milele. Tuende tena. Ni hasara kubwa. Fanya hivi mwenzako kidole hivi. Kila mutu. Angalia jirani hata kama hiyo vidole itaendea jirani mmoja ni sawa lakini msionyeshe mmoja akaonekana hivi uko na dhambi nyingi. Hakikisha tu mmeonyeshana kidole. Kila mtu ukeuka uonyeshe mwenzako hivi, mwambie ni hasara kubwa, hasara, 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 hasara. Kuka kwa Yesu miaka mingi kabisa. Lakini upote mi lele ni hasara kubwa hasara 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 ha Nyinyi muangaliani ukiri na ukiri na na juma ukiri na juma muangaliane alafu muonyeshane kidole hivi hasara kubwa kila mtu kila mtu anaangalia mwenzake ni hasara kubwa hata mimi naangalia hao wawili hapa mke wangu na Mary Mwangi ni hasara kubwa Hasara, 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 hasara. Kuka kwa Yesu miaka mingi kabisa. Lakini upote mi lele. Ni hasara kubwa, hasara, 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 hasara. Kuka kwa Yesu miaka mingi kabisa lakini upote mi le ya mwisho ni hasara kubwa hasara 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 kuka kwa Yesu miaka mingi kabisa lakini upote Nyinyi mlikuwa mnaonyeshana ama mlikuwa mnapiga kinanda muimbiane peke yenu mkionyeshana hivi peke yenu wawili hao wanacheza kinanda sisi tuna we angaliana Moses na huyo kijana pia muimbiane nyinyi mlikuwa mnaonyeshana haya kila hao peke yao tuna nyinyi mnawasaidia ni hasara kubwa hasara 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 kuka kwa Yesu miaka mingi kabisa lakini upote mi lele I am saved
praying. Nasema, they were coming to John. Walikuwa namkujia Yohana. But their intention was not to prepare for the kingdom that John was preaching. Lakini kusudi halikuwa kujiandaa kwa ajili ya pambe ambayo Yohana alikuwa anatiria. Walimjia Yohana. But their intention was not to prepare for the coming king the Messiah. Kusudi hakukuwa kujiandaa kwa ajili ya Messiah anayekuja. And I don't know why you came. Mimi na sijui kwa nini ulikuja. I don't know why you came. Sijui kwa nini wewe ulikuja. But if I was to tell you something. Lakini ingelikuwa nikwambie kitu. John is saying. Yohana anasema. In verse number 8 downwards. Hapo msalu anane kuteremka. He says. Anasema. Please bear the fruit of repentance. Tafadhali za tunda na toba. Stop your jokes. Komesha mizaa yako. If you have come to repentance. Kama umekuja kutubu. If you have chosen to repent. Kama umechagua kutubu. If you have come to the message of the Lord. Kama umekuja kwa ujumbe wa Bwana. in your house Kama then you are not you you are not wewe hauko hapo if your wife cannot see evidence that you are born again and your wife cannot testify that you are born again because of some of the things you do in that house and the way you handle matters the way you handle children the way you hardly praise Unavyokosa kuomba. You never praise. Uombi. The way you only open the Bible on Sunday. Unavyofungua tu Biblia Jumapili. And ukichukua Biblia yako kwanza unapuliza vumbi. Oh, Jumapili imefika. Meaning hiyo imekaa the whole the whole week haijasoma bwana. Haujasoma neno? Produce. Sa Where is the evidence that you are born again? He's saying show us the evidence. Anasema tuonyeshe 
ushahidi his call his calling on us anatuita sisi that we may reflect jesus ya kwamba tuweze kuangazia na kuonyesha umbo la yesu true repentance tomba ya kweli if you are writing right this kama unaandika andika hii true repentance tomba ya kweli calls for honest reflection on personal sin inaita mwito wa ule wa kuangazia dhambi zako mwenyewe za kibinafsi za kibinafsi true repentance tomba ya kweli calls for honest reflection on personal sin inaita ile toba ya kuangazia dhambi zako kibinafsi kwa ukweli number 2 ya pili true repentance tomba ya kweli calls for recognition inaita mkutambua of divine wrath ya ile ghadhabu ya kiungu eh true repentance tomba ya kweli calls for recognition recognition inaita hali ya kutambua if you are really born again kwa kweli umeokoka true repentance in you tomba ya kweli ndani yako recognizes the divine wrath inatambua ile ghadhabu ya kiungu that is coming ambayo inakuja upon the wicked juu ya waovu number 3 true repentance tomba ya kweli calls for a rejection inaita mwito wa kukataa a rejection kukataa of religious rituals ya ile itikadi za kidini hallelujah hallelujah true repentance tomba ya kweli calls for rejection inaita kukataa of religious beliefs that are not based on the bible ya zile kuamini kwa kibibi kuamini kwa kibibi hallelujah kwenye biblia and true repentance na toba ya kweli true repentance watubua wa kweli watubua wa kweli wana toba wa kweli wana toba wa kweli true repentance wana toba wa kweli true repentance wana to, wana toba wa kweli must be spiritually transformed lazima wabadilishwe kiroho i'm saying true repentance nasema wana toba wa kweli true repentance wana toba wa kweli true repentance wana utubu ya kweli must be must be spiritually transformed lazima wabadilishwe kiroho number 5 nambari ya tano true repentance wana utubu ya kweli must receive the true messiah lazima wampoke masia wa kweli true repentance wana toba wa kweli hallelujah hallelujah the true repentance wana utubu ya kweli the true repentance wana toba wa kweli produces the fruit of repentance wana za tu matunda ya toba true repentance wana toba wa kweli requires a complete and full admission inahitaji ile kuingizwa kikamilifu complete kikamilifu and full admission na kuingizwa kikamilifu kukubali 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 kikamilifu full admission kukubali kikamilifu of one sinfulness ya udhambi wa mtu binafsi i am saying nasema true repentance ya kweli requires a complete and full admission ina kukubali kikamilifu na kukubali kikamilifu kwa kuwa wewe ni dhambi kwa, kwa 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 dhambi zako kwa dhambi zako wewe mwenyewe unakubali kikamilifu kuhusu dhambi zako wewe mwenyewe sin must be recognized dhambi lazima itambuliwe and reflected na iangaziwe in one's own life katika maisha ya mtu binafsi you must recognize it lazima uitambue you must recognize it lazima uitambue if you are going to repent kama unaenda kutubu then you must recognize your sinfulness lazima utambue udhambi wako you cannot say i'm going to repent hawezi sema naenda kutubu if you cannot recognize your sin kama huwezi tambua dhambi zako true repentance tamba ya kweli it involves sorrow inahuzisha kuhuzunika for the sinful of sin kutokana na udhambi wa udhambi it involves humility kwa inahuzisha unyenyekevu before god mbele za mungu it involves hatred for sin inahuzisha kuchukia dhambi true repentance tamba ya kweli hallelujah hallelujah it involves hatred for sin inahuzisha kuchukia dhambi and true repentance tamba ya kweli it involves practical turning away from sin inahuzisha kugeuka kwa kutoka kwa dhambi ambayo hayana from evil kugeuka kutoka kwa uovu turning away from wickedness kugeuka kutoka kwa dhambi hallelujah 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 he say anasema you need to recognize the state of sinfulness unahitaji kutambua ule ile hali ya udhambi and turn away from sin kugeuka kutoka kwa dhambi repentance therefore kwa hivyo toba 
involves conviction of your sin. You realize you are a sinner. Number two, repentance therefore involves remorsefulness over sin. Number five, number three, repentance therefore involves confession of your sin and change in your behavior. Repentance. Toba. Change. Kubadilisha. Just change. Kubadilisha tu. He's saying Anasema, it involves conviction of your sin. Inausisha kusha, wishika kusu dhambi that is yako. realizing you are a sinner. Kugundua ya komba weni mtenda dhambi. Is somebody listening to me here? I am finishing the service. Na malizia ibada. And I'm saying these four points. Nasema hizi hoja ne. Listen to this. Skiza hi. Repentance. Toba. Involves conviction of your sin. Inausisha kusha wishika kusu dhambi zako. Una, una, una shawishika lafu una, una, you know, una tambua una shawishika kweli kabisa ndani mwako nasikia musukumo hii ni dhambi hili ni kosa siwezi kuishi hivi siwezi kuwa naongea hivi siwezi kuwa nafanya hivi siwezi yani una shawishika hii kitu ni mbaya repentance Toba. number two, it Toba. involves contrition or remorsefulness of sin inahusisha kuhuzunikia dhambi zako second corinthians 7:10 wa corinto wa pili Give it to me there. I'm saying contrition over sin, remorsefulness over sin. Second Corinthians 7:10. That is repentance. Second Corinthians 7:10. Second Corinthians 7:10 says, Godly sorrow brings repentance that leads to salvation and leaves no regret. But worldly sorrow brings death. Look at that. huzuni ya kimungu huleta toba ileta uokovu na wala haina majuto lakini huzuni ya kidunia husababisha mauti. Everyone look here. Kila mtu angalia hapa. Godly sorrow brings repentance that leads to salvation. Kwa maana huzuni ya kimungu huleta toba ileta uokovu. Wewe unahuzunika tu, unahuzunikia makosa yako, unahuzunikia dhambi zako, unahuzunikia mambo mabaya huo unafanya lakini hautubu, haugeuki. Hapana godly sorrow brings repentance kwamba, that hi, leads to salvation kakimungu, and uko. leaves no regret you see that angalia hiyo then he says Kisha but adisema. worldly sorrow brings death lakini huzuni ya kidunia husababisha mauti godly sorrow must lead you to repentance ile kuhuzunika kwa kiungu lazima ikuongoze kwa kuwa una unahuzunikia dhambi zako makosa yako na uovu wako kila saa unahuzunikia unahuzunikia makosa na uovu wako and you are not repenting at all na hautubu kamwe you are not turning away away from it hauki huki kutoka kwa hiyo True repentance involves confession of your sin. Inahusisha kuungama kuhusu dhambi zako. John chapter 1 verse 8 to 10. Yohana 1. First John, first John chapter 1. Yohana wa kwanza. First John chapter 1 verse 8 to 10. Read it. First John chapter number 1 verse 8 to 10. Yohana wa haraka wa Yohana wa kwanza. If we claim to be without sin, we deceive ourselves. Ikiwa tutadai ya kwamba hatuna dhambi, twajidanganya wenyewe. Look at that everybody on the screen. Angalia mtu kwa runinga hii. He says Anasema, if we claim to be without sin we deceive ourselves and truth is not in us number 9 if we confess our sins kama tukiziungama he is faithful yeye ni mwaminifu and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness that's number 10 if we claim we have not sinned we make god to be a liar and his word has no place in our lives so everybody has sinned before the Lord, by birth, immediately you were born. You were born, you were born and entered the world of sin. He's saying, confession, confession of your sin. First John chapter 1 verse 8 to 10. Change in your behavior. That's another thing, number four. Repentance involves, number four. Change in your behavior. That's bearing fruit of repentance. Matthew 3.8 and Luke 3.7 Bearing the fruit. Change in behavior. Change in behavior. Hallelujah. And so, when we come to God, when we come to God, we must come with good intention. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And as I finish I say this. No matter how much one may desire to repent. Again everybody listen to this. Everybody listen to me. I'm saying. No matter how much one may desire to repent. It doesn't matter how often how often you may resolve to repent. I'm saying if it is a point that I want you to take home in addition to the verses I've read here and the points I've given the four points I've given here on what true repentance involves then I'm saying this listen to me as I end it here everybody is listening to me now I'm saying no matter how much you desire to repent and it doesn't matter how often you may resolve to repent. It doesn't matter how often you resolve. It doesn't matter how often you may want to repent. How often you may resolve to repent. Unless you actually repent, you are lost forever. Kwa Yesu miaka mingi kabisa lakini upote milele I want you to bow your head Nataka unamishe kichwa chako Where are you are Mali tu ulipo Just bow your head Inamisha tu kichwa chako Ni hasara kubwa Hasara, 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 hasara. Kuka kwa Yesu miaka mingi kabisa. Lakini upote emilele. Ni hasara kubwa, hasara, hasara. Hasara, hasara, kuka kwa Yesu miaka mingi kabisa, lakini upote emilele. Ni hasara kubwa, hasara, 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 hasara. Sara kuka kwa Yesu miaka mingi kabisa lakini upote mi lele ni hasara kwa hasara 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 Kuka kwa Yesu miaka mingi kabisa lakini upote emi lele ni hasara kubwa Kuka kwa Yesu miaka mingi kabisa Kuka kwa toba kanisa la toba na utakatifu tangu nabii atumwe katika hii inchi na kaanza kutuletea ujumbe huu mwaka 2004 
kukaa kwa Yesu kukaa kwa toba wiki moja siku moja kukaa kwa Yesu miaka mingi kabisa kukaa kanisani miaka mingi kabisa kukaa katika huduma ya toba na utakatifu inayoandaa watu kwa sababu ya kuja kwa masia Yesu Kristo alafu uzuiwe halafu usimpoke Yesu halafu ukatazwe kuingia katika ufalme ni hasara kubwa kubwa kabisa kukaa kwa Yesu kukaa kwa kanisa kukaa ukitumikia Mungu miaka mingi kabisa lakini ukose kuingia katika ufalme wa milele wa Mungu Baba ni hasara kubwa hasara 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 kuka kwa Yesu miaka mingi kabisa lakini upote milele ni hasara kubwa hasara 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 kuka kwa Yesu miaka mingi kabisa lakini upote milele if you are in this church today before we cross over to the healing service in Ivory Coast. We are the ones who are greater and mightier than John our minister. They are preaching repentance and God is using them to do what John never did. Before we cross over there. You are saying it is true nimekaa kwa Yesu miaka mingi kabisa. But I've not changed. There are things I've not changed in my life. There are some lies that are still in me. There is some sexual lust that is still in me. There is still some deception in me. There is still the love of money in me. There is arrogance and disobedience in me. There is rebellion in me. There is cruelty in me. There is animosity in me. There is hatred in me. There is hatred in me. There is this bitterness in me. I have not forgiven that man. I have not forgiven that woman. I have not forgiven that child. I have not forgiven that parent of mine. I have not forgiven so and so. I hate so and so. I am bitter. I am immoral. I am still a drunkard. I am a sinner. I don't want to be at the feet of Christ. I don't want to be the ministry of the Lord. Where repentance and repentance and baptism is going on. Baptism is going on. I don't want to be in the church until I go to hell. If 
if it is you that has speaking to today. If it is you, the Spirit of God has been addressing in this church today. And you realize there are things you need to make amend. You realize there are things you need to change in your life. If it is you that you are saying ni hasara kubwa kukaa katika ukristu miaka mingi na nyingine jahanamu. Kiwa ni wewe unasema kukaa katika Kristo itakuwa ni hasara kubwa kubwa sana na niende jehanamu ni hasara kubwa sana kukaa kwa Ukristo miaka mingi na kwenda jehanamu nimekaa miaka 